Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a split screen in iMovie HD and how to do a sort of laser beam effect in Anime Studio Pro. We're going to do the Anime Studio Pro one first. We're going to need Anime Studio Pro and some sort of video of you making some sort of laser beam. So we're going to do one right here with Photo Booth. So I'm going to go filming. Ready? Okay, that was there was a laser eyes video. Now we're gonna save this here. Put this in here. Now this can be done quite easily. If you have a layer, you stick that there. It's quite simple to do. You need to go to layer one first. Um, um here, draw a square. Make sure you have the okay. Here's the more important part. You go effect, soft edge. It'll come up with this thing. You click OK. Then full. It has to be white, and if you want red, I'll go red here. Get red. Now you draw your square. Draw it off screen first because we're going to need to cut it in there. We have it here. So if I come in here and render this, it's like a sort of laser beam type thing. Um, hold on, I'll make it slightly wider. So you can see that oh, I'll have to make it bigger first. Sorry for this. Sorry. There we go. Now what's going to happen is going to highlight, highlight these edges, move them in quite far. Okay, so now we're going to have this one here, and I start the laser beam around here. So we're going to add this as a keyframe by selecting this one and clicking, and then we're going to move one and then go here. Okay, and then. Gonna go about one second and I'm gonna move it to make sure it follows the eyes. Okay, that is to make it look slightly better. Okay, it should have stopped any other. And it's best to make sure that you go to the clip and select certain parts of it then what you're going to need to do is um come to about the first two seconds select the end bit which i've already got selected but make sure you select them again and then move it actually first you're going to need to set that keyframe so make sure you click there first um it may move slightly but yeah actually you know you're going to need to do it here sorry stopping up Make sure that they are selected and that you move, move the clip, select the whole thing, and move it slightly so that it has a keyframe set. And then you're going to have to select these ends parts, like four, and extend it around here. And then the next one here, just because it's doing that. Select the whole thing, so keyframe, and hold on, we'll delete this so we don't need this, and then one over, and then move the whole thing out. So then we end up with this. That's how I did my thing. You may want to add um, circles in to cover up the eyes, just in case it's a little off place. So you're going to want to go draw a circle. And then this here, um, circle, 
Oh, stuff that up. Um, lots of stuffing up here. Get rid of the circle. Oops, I have to be okay. And then make a new layer and then add the circle. So now, uh, oh, and make sure that you don't have any of the bits of the circle done. There we go. So now, as soon as the eyes start, Gonna move the circle. Make this the keyframe here in the layer movement, and then move one. No. I must have selected the whole thing. There we go. And I move this, and actually, you might want to make it bigger here. Why isn't this the center? Can I make this bigger here? And then come to around here. Why? Why is it doing that? This keyframe here. Sorry, it was in the frame. And then you come here, so when the laser starts, here's the key, and then this is going to be here, right above the eye. Move it above the eye. You can use motion tracking, but it's not as um, precise as it is here with this one, when you do it manually. And yeah, you'll end up with something like that, which looks pretty good in a movie. This is one that I used in my robot clone movie when the robot me had the laser eyes. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and you're gonna want to see that in the actual thing. Okay, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the um, split screen effect where you can clone two peoples and um. First you're going to need this website, link will be in the um, description, um, here is um, some advanced pants software, what you're going to need to do is go split screen and pip iMovie pack, go try, it's loading, and then you're going to go save file, um, I haven't done this in a while so I may be a bit off, I think you open it. Um, it's now open, and then I'm pretty sure you go here, copy, switch screen bundle, go to uh, your live, that, 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 your like, your, the one, I'm not sure what it's called, it's like your home, your home login thing, library. Then you're going to need to go iMovie, go find iMovie, um, iMovie, plugins, and paste. And that should work there. Now you're going to go close that, and now you're going to open iMovie HD. Open iMovie HD. I'm going to go create a new project. Create. Now I may have done that installing thing wrong. If I have, I'm sorry. It's just I haven't done it in a while. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. But um, there's plenty of other videos out there that'll tell you how to do it. Now I've got two clips of me. You need to have two clips. Excuse me, iMovie. Yes, I see that. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Um, I didn't realize. There we go. Excuse me. Yes, I see, I see, sure. And, um, yep, it'll install these two clips. You need the two clips to be roughly the same length. And what you're going to then need to do is insert, make sure that they are the same length. Um, well, they don't really have to be, you can edit that after. 
and then you can um, put the clips side by side. Make sure that there's like a, a good tip would uh, be for there to have a line. You'd have like a line, some sort of center line in the middle here where you can like sand and um, you can easily tell where the other you would be sanding. Then you go to editing and it'll usually come up with this if you come in wrong. I don't know why it comes up with them for me, but they still work. And then video effects, go right down. Hit wrecked crop, select this clip, hit that crop. Um, gonna make it large so you can fit everything in there. Make sure, oops, larger than that, because possible would be good. And then you gonna make it soft. So it's unnoticeable. This should finish now and you'll have a smooth line and then you're going to want to cut it so like before I start turning away just there, come on T, select all the unwanted clips. Now this one will have a thing, there we go. And now we've got this. And that's a good effect you can use. Um, it really depends on timing this one, so you've got to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing in both the clips whilst you're doing them. So you know, as soon as I turn away, I get the reaction here. So as soon as I'm turning away, I start putting my head down. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to save that when you do it in the actual thing. Anyway, so thank you for watching. This has been my second episode of Easy Effects. Carl will be bringing out his second one to today as well, I think. Um, I'm not sure what he'll be doing, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure you check out my channel and his channel, and subscribe, and like the video, and if you use this video, these book oh, up there, watch. If you use this, these effects in any of your videos, make sure you add them as a video response down below and add a comment if you have any further questions on this particular effect. Thank you for watching once again and goodbye.